Bam! Follow cam paragliding gone wrong. That's how you crash it. Do you know that that's not the first time that this happened, right? Hey everyone, welcome back to this channel. It's so great to see you here. So, you're probably wondering how and why this happens. What the fuck is he doing? Is there any effect on the flight itself? You know, when you crash, is there any force or something like that? Also, how did I manage to recover the chase cam? And what's, in my opinion, the most dangerous thing in paragliding? So, let's, let's dive in. Chase cam is this thing right here. You put your camera inside and attach that to your paragliding mini wing or speed wing. When you fly, this chase cam or follow cam flies behind you and capture some epic action cinematic videos. However, if you do proximity flying, you know, when you fly close to the ground, close to the terrain, trees, that's where this chase cam, follow cam, becomes the target for the impact. Safety-wise, this chase cam have safety fuse which will break if it gets stuck when you hit something while doing that proximity flying. The day I crashed my chase cam, I actually didn't have tension fuse on. A fucking idiot! Because when I do proximity flying on these grassy slopes, you know, my chase cam is crashing into the ground all the time. I mean, not really all the time, but it happens. I don't want to have this all unnecessary force to this tension fuse all the time when it can just bounce and fly on. However, in that flight, I also did a couple of turns about the trees and that's when it happened. Bam, smashed in, gone, just like that. Whoa, hey, that's you? crazy, man. I mean, did you feel the crash? I mean, all the force and... Of course I felt a little force, you know, but it was very gentle force actually, just enough that I knew something happened and no way, man. I looked back, the chase cam was gone. Man, there's, there's no way you got it back, there's no way you recovered this chase cam, man. Yes, I did actually, <laughs> actually I did. It happened on very steep ridge, mostly covered with super tall trees. When I landed, I knew it's up there somewhere. But this area is huge. I hiked back up and I searched it for a couple of hours all around until I was trapped up there in complete darkness. Next day, Valeria suggested that we fly over that area and try to spot it from the sky. And that's what we did. Guess what? It worked. It worked. I saw it from the sky. It was sitting there on top of trees all alone. So. I quickly landed, hiked back up. Actually, it was more of a kind of climb in all that steep terrain, but I found it. It was only a few meters off the ground and I was able to shake it off, you know. Luckily, it didn't end up higher up in the trees, you know. It turned out that that spongy line was ripped off and that's probably because of these branches and all the force combined. This could end up way worse. However, not that I only got back my chase cam and my camera, but I also got this big slap reminder right here. And I believe that the biggest danger in paragliding are actually our decisions, you know? And I think that these decisions tend to be bad when we're feeling too comfy in whatever it is that we're doing, you know? Sometimes you're just blindfolded by all the good and awesome stuff that's happening around you, you know? So maybe that's it. What do you think?